So Diddy likes putting his hands on people, so let me tell you about a story where somebody put their hands on him. See, Diddy had a problem. It was a dark and stormy night, maybe, and he found himself in a heated argument with a man named J. Cole. Now, if y'all don't know this by now, Diddy has a history of violent anger issues, but the issues usually last pretty quickly because nobody really wants to mess with Diddy like that. He's... But you see, this argument was lasting kind of long. Jermaine Cole wasn't backing down. But the problem wasn't the argument itself. The problem was where he was having the argument. See, Diddy and Jay-Z were hosting an after party from the VMAs. Now, this was a very professional party. Beyonce, Jay-Z, Rihanna, everyone is there. They're promoting their drinks. Then enter. Kendrick Lamar. He walks in to see his buddy Jermaine Cole arguing with Diddy. Diddy walks away. Then Kendrick finds out why they were arguing in the first place. It's the same reason why Drake and Kendrick Lamar was arguing. Because of Kendrick Lamar's verse on a song named Control. See, what Diddy and Drake have in common is they're known to be very sensitive. In this verse, he says he wants to take on all the rappers in friendly competition this pisses Drake off and that's what led to their feud today. He also says that he's the king of New York. Now Kendrick Lamar is a diabolical super villain for saying this. Now if you're from New York, you already know how big of a deal this is. Saying you the king of New York goes back to the Biggie Smalls, Jay-Z, Nas era. It's not to be taken lightly. Kendrick Lamar is from Los Angeles, California. So saying that is kind of like an insult, but he was so good in the verse, he kind of got away with it. He said, I'm the king of New York and the West Coast. One hand, I juggled them both. People had to go, hmm. But Diddy said, hmm, psych, you good. Yeah, I forgot to mention that Diddy was a part of this king of New York era as well. In fact, this is how his whole career started. He discovered Biggie. Now. Here's where things start to get wicked. Drake's is being drunk. Drake is performing on stage. Diddy sees J. Cole and Kendrick sitting next to each other. He goes, oh, cool. Both my ops in one location. Diddy walk over and say, now it's all quiet over J. Cole. Stand up and say, who quiet? Diddy go, God damn security. Don't he look taller than the pictures? Lord. Jermaine go, yup. Fayetteville hood, baby. And at this point, proceeds to talk crazy to Diddy. And these boys going back and forth. Jay-Z looks at J. Cole manager like, J. Cole manager, Cole. And these boys are getting loud. Apparently, Beyonce freaking out, telling him to calm down. Rihanna going, hey, yo, Drake slowing down his performance. At one point, it's then said Diddy tries to spill a drink on Kendrick Lamar. J. Cole grabs his hand like, hold on, little boy. And then boys start going at it. It was chaos. Jay-Z grabs Beyonce to move her out the way. Bottles flying everywhere. Crews start jumping in. I assume Kendrick Lamar is standing in the back going, <laughs> Jay-Z's guy, Emery, hops in and grabs J. Cole because he thinks J. Cole is doing something to Jay-Z. And I'm sure you can guess why they had to grab J. Cole and not Diddy. Apparently, Diddy got a two-piece, Southern style. Diddy's security guards then escort J. Cole out. Now, I know what you're thinking. Uh-oh, J. Cole is in trouble. Eh, wrong answer. See, Jay-Z walks back over upset at Diddy. Telling him, hey, yo, that's my guy. Oh, I forgot to tell you. The first rapper ever signed to Jay-Z's label was J. Cole. He tells him, what are you doing scrapping with these young kids during our event? Think about it. This is right after the VMAs. Stars are here. Journalists are here. This is their event that they're hosting together. So Diddy goes on stage saying, everybody, it's over. Please have a good time. After the event, Diddy and J. Cole denied it happened. No journalist or anyone really mentioned it happened. This whole thing was hush-hush until a few years ago when Diddy and J. Cole said, okay, it happened. And everyone was like, okay, yeah, it did happen. That was crazy. 